We've got a brand new sub panel here coming off our main. The panel at the main has been turned off for the sub panel, so this is completely de-energized. And I've taken the face plate off. It was just four Phillips screws. The first thing you're gonna want is to knock out one of the knockouts. So you can see down here how you've got a bunch of different sizes. In my case, I'm gonna be putting in some 12-2 Romex. So I knocked out that guy right there. And I'm gonna be using a clamp connector um, that'll show you guys in a sec to secure the wire into the box. You also need to make sure you have a, a staple at least 12 inches from your box. That's per NEC code. And then inside the box, um, after we get our clamp connector on here, uh, we're going to strip our wire, leaving a quarter inch of our sheathing, this yellow stuff on the outside, still inside the box. That's another code requirement. And then we're going to be attaching our ground, our hot, as well as our neutral wire. And so in this sub panel, you can see that we've got green or bare copper uh, going to this bar right here. So that bar or that bar is our ground, our neutral bar. You can see right here, our white wire is going to this guy. So these two bars on the outside are the neutrals. And then right here in the middle, we've got two phases. Um, the red and the black and so both of those are providing 120 because we're putting in a single pull breaker like this um, we're just going to be using one of the phases doesn't matter which one the black wire i'll show you guys from this wire is going to be attaching to uh, our breaker right here the neutral from our romex is going to be going into the neutral bar right here and then the bare copper wire is going to be going into the uh, bar right here, the ground bar. Now we've got our clamp up here connected and we've got over a quarter inch of sheathing sticking through into our sub panel. And so now I've stripped the sheathing off and now what we're gonna do is connect our ground and our neutral. It doesn't matter which of these you pick. Um, and then I'm going to be connecting up the hot, the black wire to this guy on our actual breaker itself. First thing you do is you connect up your ground to the ground bar, the neutral to the neutral bar. Uh, you also give these things a little tug to make sure that they're nice and seated. And now um, I've got my black wire, the hot wire, and I'm gonna be plugging that into the circuit. And so the way these things work is you pull up from the center line out. So just like that, that's how these things work. Um, and then to hook it in, you hook it behind these things. So these little teeth right here, grab into those teeth right there. And you wanna make sure that uh, you can see right in there that those things are gonna slide over it. But that's how they work. I keep it set to the off position. And now um, we're gonna basically line this up to go into one of these two slots. Now we'll see if this wire goes in. So you can see that goes in and we're exposing maybe call it an eighth inch or three mils of copper on either side because you really don't want any of your hot wire uh, to be exposed more than it needs to be. And then we're just going to tighten this guy up. Again, give it a tug. You can see we've got nice contact in there. And uh, now that's how things should look with our installed circuit. So I'm gonna now turn on the 100 amp on the main panel to turn on the power to this sub panel. Then we will turn on the power to our 20 amp circuit and we'll make sure that things are looking good. So thanks for watching and hope this helps.